the other day when I asked if you had any videos you'd like to see on the channel, someone actually asked me about freestyle competitions and uh, I thought I'd share my expectations versus reality when it came to the Tucson Thunderdome, which was a freestyle competition held in Tucson, Arizona. It was organized by the absolutely amazing Holden Bistry and it was just a massive success. And a ton of us went out there to skate and compete together. Unfortunately, it rained, which kind of turned a two-day competition into a one-day competition. And then the next day we were all just dispersed because of the rain, but it was interesting. It was so nice to see familiar faces like Mike, Maria, Dan, and Ethan. But then it was also really cool to meet skaters I've not met yet, but looked up to like Denim Hill. Oh, do, we, do we like hugs? Yeah, yeah sure, no worries. You. Yeah, you too. How things all right. And then I got to meet all of my cool friends that I know from Instagram, which was so cool because the Instagram community is like really solid for freestyle skateboarding and to be able to meet all my friends from there in real life, which is absolutely unreal. Those expectations actually were met and then surpassed. I definitely regret not being able to talk to everybody as long as I wanted to. I'm pretty shy and I really struggle to kind of make those first steps to get to know somebody. Like it's just really hard. Like I could literally stand next to you and spend five minutes thinking about how I could say hello. Next time, hopefully, there'll be familiar faces and I'll be able to get a little bit closer to everybody, have a little more fun and really enjoy myself next time. As far as my run goes, that's actually where the expectations were the farthest from reality. I really expected that I would nail some of the things that I was consistent at and then maybe land one or two of the harder tricks that I put into the routine. But it ended up being the opposite. I nailed the three hardest tricks that I thought I had the least possibility of getting and then I messed up everything else. Anything that I was really, really confident and consistent with I did not land. So I missed my switchblade and I missed my nolly shove it. The nolly shove it was the most disappointing miss for me. I was really nervous. In fact, I haven't been that nervous in a really long time and it's kind of hard to explain. I have a lot of stage fright, but once in a while I'll challenge myself to do something that absolutely terrifies me and confronts it, but I haven't done that in a really long time. And this ended up being really difficult. So I got up in front of everybody and I just stared at Mike because he was one of the judges. And I stared at him just to kind of like blank my mind from everybody else. <laughs> and he didn't even notice, but I stared at him until the music started and then I just went for it. And by the end of the routine, I knew during the, I knew during the routine that I was making mistakes but it didn't really matter because you were just on to the next one. Like I didn't get caught up in the fact I was making mistakes. It was just move on, move on, move on. <laughs> I was impressed that I didn't pass out because by the end of the routine, I could not remember what I landed and what I hadn't landed. And then when I got off the floor, my mouth was so dry that I actually couldn't open it to talk. My friend, like Maria came up and hugged me and my mouth was stuck together. I literally couldn't open my mouth to speak. And it's funny because I was actually told afterwards that I looked confident, but man, they had no idea. I couldn't even speak when I got off the, the competition floor. And that I didn't expect because I've actually never had that happen to me before. Like I've had my mouth get dry, but I couldn't open my mouth afterwards. It was wild. It was an interesting experience. I truly missed about half the tricks and that was unfortunate, but I think it was okay. I'm really proud of myself for having done it. I'm really glad that I landed half of those tricks. Like, I think that's really positive. Yeah, it, it's funny to watch back because it definitely looks different on the video than it felt in real life. It was an interesting experience all in all. And now I'm going to actually, I am going to the European Freestyle Championships in August and I'm going to skate in it and I'm really excited again. This time I'm gonna change up my routine quite a bit, but I'm excited. I definitely think I need to practice more for this one, but hopefully I'm not as nervous. And this system is a little bit different. I'll get to have two runs 
instead of the Tucson Thunderdome, where if you lose the first run, you don't get to go again. It's a head-to-head -head competition bracket style competition. I actually went against Quentin in the very first round, who won the entire rookies anyway, so I didn't have a chance, which was fine. I, I'm really honored to have lost to Quentin. He's great, and he's, he's such a good little skater already. So it's a really cool experience. I've really never done a lot of competition anything. I am actually not a very competitive person. And I did expect this, but I still think the best part of the whole competition is the fact that it doesn't feel like a competition. It felt much more like I just went to this giant skate picnic in Tucson, Arizona and met all my friends. But then for some reason, we all ended up sitting in a circle while people skated one by one to music. And then some of the same people skated again. It was really surreal. It was a lot of fun. It it just doesn't feel like a competition. Like it does and it doesn't. Cause we're there, we're gonna skate, we're gonna push ourselves and we're gonna try to have this good performance. We're going to try to have a great run. But then at the same time, like we just wanna hang out and skate together. It's got this interesting duality that I don't know what other skate competitions are like. I don't know what the Tampa Ans are like, or what the Olympics were like, but it felt like a competition without feeling like a competition. Like, it's weird. But anyways, I'm really excited. I'm definitely gonna prepare more. I'm hoping that having this experience will help me feel less nervous about the next one. At the European Championships, you do get to skate twice, no matter what. So hopefully you can get the nerves out during the first run and then skate much better during the second one. That's what I'm hoping, and we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting, because I imagine once again, it's gonna be very different of an experience compared to what I expect it to be. But I'm ready for it. I'm super excited and all the good competitions that are popping up all over the place. Like, this is exciting. It's an exciting time to freestyle and I'm really lucky to be a part of it. So I hope you're having a good day. My voice is kind of gone for some reason. Maybe I'm nervous already. I think I'm actually already nervous for the Euros and that's why my voice is gone. So. I'm just going to rest for the rest of the day and I hope you have a good one.